Alright, it's KK and Scales checking in from Seymour Street here in Vancouver. Doing a little video blog post here. We're going to be on TV this weekend. Yeah, we're going to be on uh, BCIT Magazine. Uh, that's happening Sunday at 1 p.m. on uh, Shaw Television. That's those guys hanging out over there. Yeah. Anyway, we're kind of feeling like rock stars as we uh, are on the street here. Everyone totally are. Three cameras. Like, we got the PDA 2K, we got uh, Roland's Nokia N70, and we got that fancy filming uh, Sony camera right there. All so. the ESL students are walking up down the street going, I wonder who those two movie stars are. I know. And, What's uh, up with that? That are being filmed over there. So. <laughs> Uh, no, it's been pretty fun. We were talking more about Torino, more about uh, blogging, citizen journalism, video blogging, trying to get the word out and uh, get a bit of a critical mass formed of us and other folks who are going to come out and go to Torino with us. So. Yeah, totally. And, uh, Scale sounded amazing, like he'd done this a million times. So we did one take, and he was like humming and hawing and fucked up English, sounded like, you know, Frenchy doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> and then like... And then we stopped and we reframed it and he talked again and he like nailed it. All of a sudden like the clouds parted, clarity came over him and he like became the most eloquent English as a second language motherfucker in the whole universe. And you know what? Now thinking about this, we have to do a lot of practice. It's going to happen a lot in Torino and I got to get my shit ready. I got to get ready. Got to be prepared. Got to do my research. Got to do everything that I've been saying that I was going to do for the past week. Yeah, we also learned today that uh, Venice is near Turin. So uh, we think we're going to do a pop by there. About three hours uh, in train. That's what I've been told. Rumor has it that the train rides in Italy can be quite pleasurable. And uh, I've been told that. I've been told you can't go to Italy. You can't go to Europe if you're not planning on having a good train ride. So I've also heard that um, when offered the option to get coach or the first class private accommodation, that it's often a better decision to go for the first class private accommodation. Well, yeah. as you never know what might exactly happen in if, first class. If that's what we've been told, I guess we got to follow the trend. All right, guys. Well, uh, we'll have our crew here from BCIT say over and out to the internet. Thank, over and out, PC. Over thanks out. for coming out, guys. Right. And, thanks uh, for coming out. Yeah, we'll see you on the internet later, see guys. See you later, the internet.